good morning and welcome back to yet another episode of Vibe Africa Sporting Stories across the sporting world. Between Eddie Joseph by the FIFA balls, the sports in Kobe and Anna Peso, Matime Kumbia Matanasi, with the latest in the world of association football and as a boxer. Now, my day and Tanabo or a show in Swa and Yasin Kumakra. So, don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Send by being the first to know the latest now in the two hour, which will to me, I will say, come on, and the Amahe. Missy for me, a boxer, or me a boy, a branch and a day, Joshua Crote, who is a bagan as here, a kind of boxing party, a branch and a yes, or Dima Timba, or boxing gay, a day, best a world title, best a new crown of the Amma Mankan, and also lay a yard as a title in the new crown. Now, Brent, you know, now me, NJ, FM4, 18, come on. Now, Brent, you know, I have a two person, and they on the Brent, you know, you know, we see a kind of a box in the moon, or by the air that professional level, no, oh, and you have to come up for no, go be to say, yeah, Antonio Margarito, or go be to say, yeah, Zab Judah, and now for Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Kuto, and now for ready to tell you, Richard, a year, Guterres. Now, some Brent, you know, we can't now. Nay, I dear, no, 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 no na ya de moja awo junso ni na ya de awo ite ni jere gu teres no in fact ne ponche so na mo o jen papa na e ka de e mananka o di e yu me di ni o tu mi e de guo a de ran fo ne nan so ya de no kona ni kochi so no no mo shen ni mpwene so mo mo de na onkun ne no mo shen tu mi unko ye na ampa o konye at the end of the 12 rounds no ne ya de awo ite ni tini e de ye Joshua Clote no go di unko ni mwa awo sa ba o tu mi e nyan si mi kuma pra an afri o sen e ke e si pi se Any other one, other man the bar and ask him for no more facility. Or go see a kind of boxing. If we say boxing here, that time or call for you know, your man on promotion share and pop 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 here. Then you ask him come up here. You share a year a brand new thing. A Joshua clothing. A new a year guitarist. Send about me see for you fourteen years ago. Be in force. You drive on force. What they are carrying on. Tuck hand tied chin tuck. Good defense. Both fighters doing a nice job using the jab to set up power shots. Neither one is being defensively irresponsible either for aggressive, strong fighters, physical fighters. They're being responsible defensively. They're not reckless. Good solid action in the first round. Claudia Gutierrez trying to stake their claim. In the corner of Richard Gutierrez, they will be speaking Spanish and interpreting for us will be Ray Torres. How you feeling? You feel good? Nice and calm. Copy box numbers in the first round. Both fighters fairly active. Claudie landing 22 of 59 shots, 10 of those to the body. Gutierrez, 9 of 63. And Lennox, we saw Joshua Claudie at the uh, end of the first round. Looked like he was breathing pretty heavily. I think this is the first round kind of blues kind of thing. You know, you get your breathing up to up to par and get used to it. I'll tell you what, considering Claudio opened a surprising six to one favorite. Of, the report, reports were reports were as much as a six to one favorite. Uh, Gutierrez didn't have that bad a first round. Dr. Lumaret says no knockdown there. Gutierrez puts Claudio down with the, the 
weight of his hand, pulling him down. Those are some of the hardest body shots you see a welterweight throw. Both hands by Gutierrez. Vladi doubles up with the left hook. Gutierrez comes right back. These guys both said they would stand and trade with each other, and that's exactly what's happening. Claudio needs to get off the ropes, definitely, because, you know, he's at a disadvantage any time you're against the ropes. Sometimes, you know, you feel relaxed and you say, yeah, bring the fight against the ropes, but it's not good because there's nowhere to back up to. But, you know, Chandler reminds me a little bit of another fighter from Accra, Zuma Nelson, when he fought Jeff Fennick with his back to the ropes, counterpunched very well off the ropes. And it looks like Claudio's trying to do the same here. Lure Gutierrez in, the bigger, stronger, younger fighter. Let him throw to the body and counterpunch off the ropes, maybe. The, the only problem with that is how it looks to the judges. And the judges may think, that, oh, this guy's got him against the ropes, so he's the one that's winning the fight. So sometimes it can work against you. Gutierrez misses the left hook. Plotty now forcing the action. He pushes Gutierrez into the neutral corner. Now the fight's back out to the center of the ring. Yeah. showmanship by the Colombian. You know, class tells over time. Over rounds, the more experienced, more skillful fighter usually starts to pull away. But so far, early in this fight, I would not say that Gutierrez is being outclassed. As was expected. He blocked those uppercuts by Claudio. He blocked him, but Gutierrez still felt it. Both these guys throwing hard shots. Gutierrez told, us, Gutierrez told us in the fighter meetings that when, when Lennox, you asked him if anyone could stand up to his body shots, if they can't, God bless him, <laughs> because he throws them as hard as he can. And if there is anyone to stand up to those kind of body shots, it's a guy in the kind of condition that Claudia is running 12 miles a day. Claudi ripping off some strong body shots of his own, showing a nice left hook. Very good. August 5th, it's a matchup of former 147-pound champs on the comeback trail. When Ike Corte faces off with Vernon Forrest in a 154-pound fight, also that night, former junior middleweight titleist Kasim Puma takes on undefeated Sekou Powell. And one week later, heavyweight champion Hasim Rahman fights a rematch against Oleg Moskayev, who knocked Rahman out back in 1999. Knocked him out, out of the ring. Knocked him temporarily out of contention. Richard Gutierrez's camp, they clearly acknowledged, you know what? First 18 fights were in Colombia, and we'll give it to you. The competition wasn't necessarily that strong, so we're trying to find out just how good our young prospect is. This is his fifth fight in the United States. Well, so far, the answer is pretty good. He may not be winning the fight, but he doesn't look bad. Claudi doubles up with that left hook, and it catches Gutierrez with a right. Gutierrez acknowledges. Prati, on the other hand, he was very emotional when we talked to him today. And he said, you know what? I want my name to be mentioned. It's not so important for me to fight for a title, but I want to be part of the bus. I want to be a name when, when guys talk about Antonio Margarito and, and Shane Mosley and Ricky Hatton. I want to be a guy who's named in that conversation as guys that should get an opportunity to fight them. And he felt it was that he needed to be impressive tonight. Well, he's starting to take over this fight this round. And, and he's starting to make that kind of name for himself in front of an American TV audience. And it's very important because, it's, you know, it starts off with a dream, and this is a reality right now. One 
of the problems that Claudie does have, though, when he lunges in, he kind of shuts himself out. As if right there, he kind of smothers himself and doesn't give himself enough room to let his hands go. Yeah, that's the situation he's just getting into fast. It's a situation where you're, he's running in without throwing the punches. That's why it's always important. My trainers always say you step in, you step in. Always keep that distance. As opposed to jumping in, as he just did. Right. Let him go. Though Joel Julio came into the Carlos Campana fight last month with much greater fanfare than Gutierrez came into this fight. Gutierrez is not being undressed by Claudio the way that Joel Julio was undressed by Carlos Campana. This may have been the type of fight that Julio would have preferred. Quintana did a great job of boxing Julio and staying on the outside. Claudio made no bones about it. He was going to stand there and mix it up. And that's what we're seeing. Gutierrez is showing some good defense. You know, we're seeing him coming in and just rolling with the punches. And this is what you need to do. Gutierrez taps Claudio on the back of the head at the bell. Lumaret says, no big deal, Joshua, no big deal. Use one on it. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to be quiet. 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 I'm if we know she is a better dean, a Joshua Putti, and a free Richard Gutierrez, but also about to name us in Kumakra. Round 12, a Yadua, a Yadua, a Joshua Putti, no Bombardi, Odi, Sa, Babson, so, and Kudimwa, name us in Kumakra, and also Yadimo, and I'll pay over a year show. So, between a defeat for the sports incubator, this is by Africa Sporting Stories across the sporting world. Thanks for watching.